Food allergy charity doesn't want to pay their bills. Enjoy a nutty party. I work in a food catering place which can fulfill allergy-free requests. We have the expertise and care not to include allergic food, either as a hidden ingredient or by accidentally sharing contaminated utensils and pans while cooking. In our experience, the four most common allergies are peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, and milk. Cooking meals without these four ingredients will usually satisfy everyone at an event. We had a new client, a food allergy advocacy group. They ordered a large catering last month and didn't pay us since. We were out of pocket $2,000 and were considering legal action. This charity had the nerve to place another order with us, but this time a smaller one costing $450. The group asked for the meals to be nut-free vegan instead of nuts slash egg slash milk free as this would ensure them a peanut, tree nut, egg, and milk free event for cheaper, as they would avoid our additional allergy free preparation fees. This was reckless behavior from the advocacy group as the party attendees were most likely anaphylactic to milk and egg. Think deadly peanut allergies but for dairy, milk, cheese, cream, and egg products instead. Had we not known they were a food allergy charity, then we would have not taken as much care in ensuring the meals were egg slash dairy free and would have just focused on the nut free angle instead. There was one important thing the charity forgot. It's now possible to buy dairy which is made from lab grown milk from yeast. The protein is identical to milk but is technically vegan. We cooked all the meals with this lab grown dairy and loaded it in the van. Upon arriving to the function hall, we informed the charity organizers that the meals had lab-grown dairy in them. The charity owner started blasting off on how it was meant to be dairy-free and how they have people deathly allergic to milk in the event. I simply explained that the order was nut-free vegan since we used lab-grown milk and that they had failed to pay us the last order and that this was simply going to be our team Christmas party if they didn't accept the order. The owner went ballistic and began pushing me. The rest of us restrained him and the function hall called the police. The owner lied and told the police that we had dropped and assaulted him. The police asked the function hall for the CCTV and then moved us both along. The police did inform us at the commotion that we could head down to the station tonight and provide a witness statement should we wish to press charges. A few moments later, the owner called and begged for an apology and offered to pay us both the original and today's invoices right there and then. I decided to take the apology and the cash. Our team had a nice pre-Christmas party with the vegan lab-grown dairy meals.